everybody! Welcome back to Let's Play Sui Coden. I'm your host, the DOM Big O, and I started outside. I was gonna try to start inside the castle, since we were heading back, but then this happens right here in the Cobalt Village, so I decided to, uh, yeah, start it right here. Is it a bit dangerous? They look like normal foot soldiers. I think we can take them. What? <laughs> Is this a whole setup for she turns herself in and he's like, kill them anyway. She's like, but you swore to God. And he's like, there is no God. Yeah, we can take them. There's eight of them. That's... They only have two more than us, and we're better fighters. Oh, what? <laughs> there is no God. I actually did not remember that that's what happened. <laughs> oh great, Kiramimi joined my party and he's in the back row and I can't move him so he's useless for this entire fight. Ah. Uh... Yeah. Uh, about what you guys are doing. Yeah, you just sit back there, Shiromimi. This is why Valeria never should have given herself up. Bam! That guy! To the underworld! Oh, okay, well, you guys are a little strong. It's okay, though. Because I can just keep sending them to hell. Medicine. Yeah, go ahead and start helping people out a little bit, I guess. You! Ah! 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 Still, we are way stronger fighters than them. I don't even need to waste my finger point of hell sending to them. Valeria, come back! You were wrong! Oh, there's still more. We're not losing! Kirimimi, no give up. Kirimimi, stay in the back row, though, where Kirimimi is safe and no half fight. Hello, uh, we're the, uh, we're the Liberation Army. That, I mean, that's what we're calling ourselves, right? Yeah, we're the Liberation Army. <laughs> yeah, the guy's like, not like, the Liberation Army is here. He's like, there's some guys that are calling themselves the Liberation Army are here. There's a lot of them, though, so it's, it's a little scary. Oh, never mind. There's way less than those, their people. But I guess our people are better fighters. <laughs> Nobody runs away from battle faster than Stallion.
<laughs> oh, well, ain't that nice. And Stallion's like, hey, you want to hear about how fast I can go? I'm craving for chili dogs! Just realized Stallion has blue hair and likes to talk about how fast he can go. God damn it. Well, that was sudden character change for Gremio. Ah, oh, we should give up! Oh, wait, we were saved. Well, I guess that'll teach me to never give up. Yeah! Let's do it! You guys say Valeria? Cause she she went the way that you guys came. Are you, mm. Quanda Rosman, you'll pay for burning down my tree. <laughs> He's just like hmm. <laughs> This is the first battle for the new Liberation Armies! Wait, what? You said that- you ended that in like a possessive way, but... Clearly you just meant to mean, uh... Like more of a... Yeah... Uh, let's see if we can turn some people. How do you like the stockpile, hmm? Yes! Yeah, that usually happens. That honestly rarely works. Leave it to me. <laughs> His next plan is Quanda's attack. Wait, is that like a is that a charge? I guess we'll use these guys. We can't be late! Ooh. Oh, I think I've forgotten how this rock, paper, scissors stuff hap works. Anyways, next plan is charge attack. Magic would be the way to go, right? Yeah, there we go. Ooh! Devastating blow. Cool. Unfortunately, now... See the power of the science! This is the plan, and make sure you obey it. I have no idea what he means when he says that. Everybody, let's go! You see that guy in like the upper right corner? He was nowhere near the battle and he fell on his face. I mean, he didn't die or anything, but yeah. Oh, my guy just did it. What? I'll have to remember to uh, focus in on that when I uh, when I edit this. We just killed all the troops surrounding your castle. He's like, ah! <laughs> You'll see. Look at my giant mirror! I'm going to burn you like ants! Mm. Oh, they did save her. Okay. That was never really established. <laughs> 
This is only really good for uh, setting trees on fire. Could you, could you go back to the wreckage of the elf village? Or I guess you. Oh! Oh, that's right. Aha! As it turns out, glass is weak to cannonballs! Yeah, let's do it. Ah, oh, Karamimi, that means there's like way too many short range fighters on my team. Oh, that is bad. Oh, wait, you know what? No, never mind. It's so Victor, Valeria, Karamimi. Oh, well, I guess that's our party then. Is there a someone who can heal us? Ha ha! One of our great treasures has been destroyed! What about you, Matthew? Nope, I guess not. Well, let's go in and nab ourselves a general. Treasure! A shield! I think Kiromimi is one of the few people who actually uses... Yeah, he does. Right, right, right. It's been a little while since I last played this. So... Forgive me for forgetting that you, people have to be holding things if you want them to use them. She's got a pointed hat. Uh, I guess maybe we could... Yeah, it would be better than what Kiromimi has right now. Oh wait, uh, I guess he can't wear it. Sakura Mimi doesn't want to wear a stupid hat. Uh, yeah. Uh, shields, huh? How strong are these shields? Not that strong. Then again, I got a whole bunch of critical hits during that, so... Oh, but these things... Oh, that's because Victor's a little underleveled. Ah, here we go. Yes, we shall rest. Up here on the... Uh, what, would you, what would you call this? Ah, I forget. Okay, never mind. Not Al. Before we deal with Quanda Rosman, we're gonna steal as much treasure as we possibly can from this place. Gale Crystal. I forget what that does. If I remember right, Quanda Rosman's castle is pretty simplistic in its design. Not like some stuff we'll see a little bit later. No, nope, get that treasure. Old book volume one. We can't read that. We don't have a librarian. Or some kind of book chronicle at the castle. Right, these are the troops that are bit stronger than some of the people we've been facing up till now. My favorite thing is when an enemy hops forward to attack, uh, attack and gets counterattacked, and then they will run all the way back to their fighting position before dying. <laughs> Medicine might be a good thing to use right now. Alright. Alright. 
use Kira Mimi's because uh, I don't really care about him. Not to be doggist or anything like that, but uh, I don't really care for the kobolds. They never, they're never given like interesting personalities. It's not in this game, anyways. The personality always seems to be like, I'm a dog, I like fighting. Ha 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 ha. But I guess in a game with so many characters, there are going to be some characters that lose out on the whole getting personalities thing. Kira Mimi's personality is that he talks about himself in the third person. That's, that's really it. Nobody wants the gauntlet. There it is. As I recall, I think, uh... Wanda Rosman is actually... pretty easy to find. He's just on the top floor, outside. But there's more treasure to be had. But, but treasure... In the meantime, kind of boring battles. I guess I'll take this opportunity to talk about the fact that... <laughs> I haven't been uploading things for a while. Just normal laziness. I'm... I always try to work... Or... It's better when you're into something if you're gonna do it. And I do... I do like doing the Let's Play. But so often or not, like... Because I work a lot, too. I work a real job. And when I get home from that real job, I don't really want to do anything. And then even on my days off, I don't want to do anything because I've been working all week. Yeah, you get it. But sometimes, like today, I can work up the, uh... I can work up the want to, uh... <laughs> Try to be entertaining for a little while, for people's benefits. And really, I should get back to this, because otherwise... I mean, I will we'll finish this. But it'll probably be like fucking two years from now before I finish Saga Frontier at the rate that this is going. It might be about time to hunker down and actually uh, throw out some stuff, huh? Okay, right, let's try a very focused attack. That time we didn't even score any critical hits, so, you know. Uh, free will seems to make them. <laughs> it's not. That's not really what's happening. It's just I got unlucky. Oh shit! This dude's got it. He's got a dragon. I actually forgot there was a dragon here. It's not honestly a big deal. But in fact, I think the fact that I forgot he even was here <laughs> kind of ah uh, deadly fingertips isn't going to do anything against him.
Yeah, take that. <laughs> I forget what Frog and Fog Deception does. I think it makes the enemy less accurate. Oh, that barely hurt at all. Okay. Yep, I, this thing's gonna die. You're gonna die, dragon. Dargon. Dagron. I don't even know why there's a dragon here, but it is. Soon it'll be dead. Look out, Victor! Or, you know, yeah, it's fine. It didn't even really hurt you. <laughs> oh. So there's pretty much no reason not to have Valeria always using her Falcon Rune. Except during normal battles when it's just easier to hit free will. But I mean during boss fights it makes everything go a lot faster. Well, I mean, you, you sure have more life than that one, like, uh, the genie in the dwarves vault. You got that going for you. It's, it's, unfortunately, you're, you're pretty weak. You're, you're, well, not just like pretty weak, but like really weak. You're really, really weak. He's a rain of kindness. Like my character is it's, it's not even. You can't do enough damage to my character that I don't already instantly heal at every turn. Hey, you really hate Victor, though. It's, you got that going for you. It's probably because he has the most health. So he's pretty much de facto, uh, the de facto attack sponge. The tank of the team. Actually, I think I remember in Suicoden 2, Victor was pretty tanky as well. Oh, well, the dragon's dead. Kind of a footnote on that whole story. <laughs> yeah, yep. This Dargon's dead. Dead Dargon. Behind this door is Quanda Rosman. I would heal my character because I know it's coming up, but he's, he auto heals, so, you know, it's no big deal. I don't. Wanda the Insurmountable. Now I'm at the bottom of the food chain of the five great generals. Yeah, yeah when I had that nickname, there was just pretty much just me. The Black Rune. And here we have... The Duel. Setting. I don't know if we've done a duel yet. Basically, it's rock, paper, scissors style. Can you break my invulnerable defenses? Basically, what happens is that the opponent will say something, and you'll have to guess whether they're attacking, doing a desperate attack, or like good old Quasma, uh, Quanda basically literally said he's defending. And so... It's rock, paper, scissors here. Attack beats defense. Defense beats desperate, desperate attack. And desperate attack does way more damage against somebody who's attacking. So for now, we'll just kind of chip away at him. I'll get you! Which I do believe means he's probably just going to do a normal attack. So we'll do a desperate one. Oh, okay. There was an exclamation point, so he's like, I'll get you! Yeah, he's kind of weak, though, so... What now? He's gonna defend. Yeah, now it's my turn. Now he's going to normal attack. And we're going to finish him off. Baby. 
Oh, your character doesn't do a finisher in this one like he does in Sea Code 2. It has been a while since I played this game. Well done! That you should destroy my defenses! <laughs> I'm sure he doesn't talk like that, but... <laughs> It's just one of the voices I do. Impossible! It's Lady Windy's Black Rune! Maybe I do that voice because he seems to have a smug face. You mess everybody up! Or maybe it's just the one voice I do. You mess everyone up! You fix them! Kobold? Why are you still sane? The Black Rune! Ah, oh, my arm! Ah! What's going on? I'm not sure. Something to do with a black rune, I think, he said. <laughs> ah! Arr, arr! Uh, he's being really melodramatic about it. I don't, he's kind of phoning it in, really. What happened? Prepare to die! Time for revenge! Elf? Hobald? I see. Do what you must. You have the right, I believe. Wait a minute, something's wrong! Are you Commander Ray of the Liberation Army? Please, go ahead and take my head. I'll die like a soldier. And yell, Vengeance! Your time is up! Yeah, that's just the voice I'm doing today. Alright, never mind then. Or something's wrong. What are you waiting for? Lop off. Lop off his head! I'm impatient! Why did you suddenly. That's right. You're not the same person you were a moment ago. Suddenly, Kiramimi's gotten all articulate. It's this! The Burnt Rune! Rune? This was the Black Rune! It was given to me by Lady Windy! It gave me power over monsters. But it also began to affect my willpower. Windy cannot be trusted. Does the Emperor know? But whatever I say now is irrelevant. After what I have done, my only remaining fate is to die like a soldier. You're right. Shink! Well, no, 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 that's not the right choice. Me? Join you? <laughs> Me join the Liberation Army? I served Emperor Barbo Barbarossa for over ten years. And you ask me to be a traitor? That's right. The Emperor is a different man from the one you knew seven years ago. Perhaps the Emperor I knew and trusted disappeared years ago. Commander Ray, let me join your army. My loyalty for Emperor Barbarossa remains firm. But I cannot serve the present Emperor, whoever he may be. Ah, uh, we made a friend! Congratulations, Commander Ray. Our first battle was a great success. Kira Mimi. Brother, mother, and brother. So I thought all the kobolds were sick, but he was saying he was driving them insane. Well, I guess that would sort of ex... Okay, I never saw any kobolds in any beds or anything like that. And I guess that would explain why the kobolds were attacking me then. It's not going to explain why the kobolds will continue to attack me in this area, but... It does for that short amount of time.
How could I deny the man who is too fast cool? <laughs> I'm not sure Kremios are accepting of our new companions. Tired of being here. All right, let's go. Oh shit! Ah, oh, three months after defeating Quanda Rosamond's army, I was hoping to hit up the inn and save. Basement, start there. All right, it's not here. There's stairs. All right, well, there's the inn. Okay. She's complaining about needing chefs, which I believe means. Uh, we can go now go get Antonio. But that'll be for next time. Alright. I'm gonna be doing this in a little while. Alright. I'm the DOM Begone. I shall see you next time! <laughs>